Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So I'm out here behind the barn and I want to end up turning this into yard and get some grass planted on it and hopefully have some stuff come up before, uh, you know, the winter. And I think we've got time to do that. It's still, I mean, it was 90 degrees yesterday. So the biggest problem we have is probably getting rain. But the problem I've got is I've, this thing is just full of these sticks and stumps. So what I'm gonna do, uh, and then actually over here, I dug out this stump with the excavator the other day, and here's all the big roots. But I'm gonna take my root rake on my tractor, and then I've also got a rear uh, rake, and I'm gonna try and rake these up. What I probably should do is just go get a trailer and start picking them up with my hands, but uh, we're gonna see if we can't use this equipment. So we'll get this done, and then what I'm gonna do, just so you know, I'm gonna take and put a apron around this shed uh probably come out 12 foot and i'll be able to put any implements back here that i don't want inside the barn but that i don't want sitting in the woods so i'll put the millings around the outside making a an apron and then the rest of this will just slope off so i'll probably use the dozer to to actually get it all laying in flat and nice and then i'm going to get some manure mill that in and or till that in and try and get some grass growing on this thing all right well follow along i'm not sure how many days this video is going to take but it's going to be a pretty good job Well, that did pretty good, but it picked up a lot of dirt, too. And I wasn't really looking to move a bunch of dirt around with the tractor. But I got a fairly good scoop of sticks out of that. Stumps and limbs. Mostly roots, probably. But it did pick up a lot of this dirt, too. And it's not totally dry enough for it to just kind of sift out of that. But we'll keep doing this for a bit, and then I might go get a rake and try and just use it. All right, well, I picked up quite a few of those sticks with that grapple, but I think I'm still going to put a landscape rake on the back of a tractor and just drag this out a little bit more and try and get these down to where it's just small sticks in here, which it pretty much is now, but, like, the grapple won't pick that stuff up. But a rake, I think, will rake it up and get it out of here. So there's a stump over there. But anyway, so let me go get that and be right back. All right, well, that took a minute, but I've got the large landscape rake on here now. And I think that might do a better job of picking up these smaller sticks. So let's try this out. And we've got this on the Kubota MX5100. So nice tractor. This is Bill's tractor, and it's his rake. But we're going to use it to clear this little yard out of sticks.
All right, I'm really happy with the way that's coming out. That's uh, not only picking up, raking up a lot of these sticks, it's actually doing a good job of knocking down the high spots and filling in the low spots. So basically all I want this to do is slope towards the wood so it drains and be able to be mowed with a regular lawnmower. And I think I'm on my way to getting it there. I thought I was gonna pull the dozer out and I still might just because I like playing with a dozer. But that landscape rake on the back of that tractor, it's doing a phenomenal job. So put you on a tripod and get a little more done. I've got that whole area over there still and then the other side of the barn. All right, well, that scraped off almost all of those sticks, and honestly, a lot of that grass and stuff, too, is just weeds. So there's still a few sticks in it. I found there was a couple of roots that were still attached, so I'll have to do something to pull those out. But for the most part, this thing's ready to final grade. Throw in the uh, horse manure that I'm going to go get from my friend down the road, and then I'm going to use that landscape tiller to till all this in, plant grass seed, and... Hopefully we'll have a yard here. Ooh, I just got lucky. I had my hat laying here like that and I picked it up and threw it on and I immediately heard buzzing and felt something crawling around on my head. I took my hat off and a wasp fell out right there and I was so happy that he didn't decide to sting me. Ooh, I hate wasps. But hey, you know, if they don't sting, they're fine. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm done with this uh, Kubota landscape rake uh and the uh, mx 5100 tractor like i said it did a really good job all i wanted to do was get the majority of the sticks picked up off this and that landscape rake, rake did a really good job with that but it also helped smooth out an awful lot of this too so i've got a lot less grading to do after running over that with that landscape rake so those landscape rakes are pretty common and fairly affordable and i'll tell you what they're a heck of a landscape tool so and kind of see up through there there's definitely still some ridges and stuff that i'm gonna knock down uh probably just with the dozer just to practice with it and there's a hump over here but an awful lot of this is actually ready to plant grass seed on if if the dirt was decent which this dirt's not it's pretty much just clay there's not really any topsoil to speak of uh it's also very dusty it's been so dry but anyway i'm going to try to mix in some horse manure with this and then get it planted and see what happens so stay tuned all right well i was really impressed with how that little landscape rake uh worked and like i said got rid of all those sticks and did quite a bit of grading on that so the case 450c is considered a finished dozer and that's what we're going to do is go do a finished grade on this around this barn all right, well, I checked the oil in this, and I checked the radiator to make sure it had water in it. We're ready to roll.
All right, so I've got all this dirt that I'm going to then move towards the building to make it, I want it to slope this way into this trench that I've got and then also slope downhill. But again, I want, I don't want anything super sharp and I'll probably have to take down this angle just a little bit here too because I want all of this to be able to be mowed by a, just a regular ZTR lawnmower. So I've got a pretty good hump there, but I think I'll work this edge down next and then start taking that pile and just working it that way. And like I said, nothing's gonna be level. I want it to go uphill towards the shed and then downhill towards the woods. So like I said, kind of more complicated grade, uh, grading than what probably my experience level is, but hey, it's fun to learn. So that's what we're doing. I'll tell you what, I'm really happy with the way the back of that came out. So on to it. This dirt is perfect clay for building a dam, uh, but I want to grow grass on it and it's not perfect for that, but we'll make do.
that's sloping away from the barn and towards the woods. So we're good. Like I said, I learned a lot operating that dozer. And I'll tell you what, there just isn't much that's more fun than that. All right, let's get this finished up. All right, I am really happy with this. You know, is it the best uh, grading job anybody's ever done? Absolutely not. Is it the best one I've ever done? Yeah, I'd say it is. So I'm real happy with that. Tomorrow I'll take the skid steer and go around and make my, I'm planning on a 12 foot uh, asphalt milling apron. And then we'll go get some horse manure is the plan and use the new landscape uh, tiller to break all this in, put it seed on it. And we should have a yard here that you'll be able to mow with a regular lawnmower. So if you like this content, give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel and we very much appreciate it. And we invite you to subscribe to see more. Have a great day and be safe.